Sonix broke the game again, Daniel and Beast Mode are finally teaming up, and it just never ends. My name is Anton and you're watching This Week on Rocket League. This is of course the series where we take a look at all the crazy and stupid things that this game has had to offer during the past 7 days, and somehow, this game never fails to surprise me. Uh, so this is what UE5 is gonna look like. But now let's check out what's been happening this week. With the new season now out, Sonyx of course introduced a new map called Dead Eye Canyon Oasis. Now a lot of people were happy about it since they've been requesting a new grass map for a while now. However, Ricky Bands on Twitter noticed that the walls on the map are slightly different to other maps. Now I understand some people's reaction might be, really? The walls are a little different? This is news? But in a game that requires so many precise movements, stuff like this can really throw your game off. And as you can see, this is actually the reason Reason I haven't reached champ 1 yet. Now, but seriously, we've had the same issue with other maps in the past, which kind of just makes you think, why can't they just copy paste the arena and then just change the visuals? Now, obviously, I'm not a video game developer. I'm an unemployed college student, so I'm sure they have some reason. So if there's any Psyonix developers watching this, we'd love to hear your reasoning and please promote me to champ 1. Now, in other news, Epic Games likes to do these surveys where they ask the players questions about the game they just played. And for Rocket League, they naturally ask questions like this. Now, I know everyone's goofing on this, but I think the game does have a pretty diverse cast. You have the toxic opponent, the overly apologetic teammate who apologizes for everything, and the 12 year old who's just realized he can call you all the slurs on the internet without his mom knowing about it. Moving on to esports, the RLCS Winter Major is now about 3 weeks away, but thankfully we don't have to wait that long because I'm gonna tell you what's going to happen. The most important thing that's going to happen in Group A is Atomic going against Atomic but in Spanish. This is the first time FaZe Clan made it to the Major as the number one seed from NA, and they've never been more excited to finish in fourth place. Group B will see the clash between the two French Titans. Meanwhile, Dignitas have made it back to an RLCS land after changing their region. Group C is the most diverse group, with teams from four different regions, and this will be the third RLCS land for the gaming commutators. And similarly, the Group C. Group D also includes no North American teams, but that's the preview for the Winter Major. Tell me in the comments below who you think is going to take it home. Although we already know the answer. In roster news, after failing to qualify for the major, version 1 are in talks with Space Station to acquire Daniel as a replacement for Torment, which would mean that Daniel and Beast Mode would finally team up together. I mean, at that point, Calm could just do whatever he wants. He could just go for demos all game, while the other two do their own thing. So I guess nothing would change. Space Station of course have to replace Daniel somehow, and so they've begun trying out Cheese and Hoxer. SSG would have the best lineup in the whole league. They would have Arsenal FC, LeBron James, and Cheese. Butter. Spread it on the bread. Bollocks. Solary are parting ways with Fairy Peak after a lackluster winter split. The org is currently looking for a replacement and have narrowed it down to three options. Oli, Parka, and this fine gentleman. A recent college athletics event has brought all of America to their TV screens in order to watch the Collegiate Rocket League Spring National Championship, where Akron Blue beat San Diego State after this beautiful goal. And Pleb. Dropping a down low to Lamp who steals boost, but now Buzz has ran away with this one. Oh, he dunked him. Oh, he dunked him. And that was scary. It was so close. And it's got left what? in front of the Nets. SCSU just let that one in. <laughs> he dunked him. He dunked him. Jeez. And then it pitches away and they own gold. It came off of dog. Oh. They then qualified for the final after beating Fisher College in the lower bracket final. Are these real colleges or did they just make him up? But then, to absolutely no one's surprise, Northwood Blue beat them in the finals to take home the national championship. Again. But now, it's time for a clip of the week. Now in affiliation with NordVPN. Each week you guys submit your clips to the Anton the Kicker Discord. The top 5 are then voted on by the members and have a chance at winning 1000 credits. So if you want to submit your own clips or influence who makes the top 5 for one of these videos, you can do so on my Discord server. Link in the description. Congrats to Chicken Nugget for winning last week's contest with this super clean double tap. And before we reveal the top 5, let's look at some honorable mentions. Cosmic Benny scored this personal best 164 kph ground pinch in training. What the heck, Wi-Fi posted this clip? Kageyama scored this 134 kph Muripop Musty. 
Paige scored the sailing double tap in a cheesy 3-3's lobby. And before we reveal the top 5, Turtle Hermit ended his opponent's whole lineage in a 1v1. But now it's time to reveal the top 5. Like mentioned before, these were voted by the Discord members. Chell scored this insane passing play with a random teammate in a 2v2. What the heck, Wi-Fi is back. And this time he scored a goal in a 2v2 after this totally intentional fake. Chell is back after this amazing defensive play from his opponents. Chicken Nugget is back from last week. This time scoring this 180k pH team pinch in a 2v2. And last but not least, Skip sent his team into overtime after this beautiful pass from his opponent. And that's the top 5. As always, there will be a YouTube poll on the channel. The person with the most votes after 24 hours wins 1000 credits. NordVPN gives you access to over 5400 servers across 60 different countries around the world. Can't watch your favorite Netflix show in your current location? Well, it only takes one click to change that. Look, now I'm in France. I myself have been using NordVPN for a while now, and I truly believe it's a great product. And that's why I've teamed up with NordVPN to get you a discount plus one month free on your two-year plan. Just go to nordvpn.com slash kicker or use the link at the top of the description a VPN is one of the essentials for any internet user these days, and using the link in the description would really help out the channel as well. And that's it for this week's episode, hope you enjoyed it. And like I said last week, I finally got my thesis done, and we also reached 30,000 subscribers, which means I'm gonna have the stream soon, so you should expect a bigger announcement about that next week. I'll probably do it on Twitch, but without further ado, let's get to checking out countries. And today, we have a comment from Simon Miller, who's a member on the Anton the Kicker channel. And remember guys, I want to play against some of you guys on stream once I do the stream. And those people will be selected from the YouTube members, so if you're interested in that, just go ahead and click the join button here. But Simon Miller said, Anton, can you do North Carolina? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that was like an offensive accent. Uh, and sure, of course, I'd love to, because uh, actually... I've been to North Carolina. So there was this one time we were going to Myrtle Beach and on the way there, we stopped by this Taco Bell. So to all my North Carolinians out there, I've been to this Taco Bell. <laughs> I know I'm basically Mr. Beast neighbor, but back to the cities in North Carolina. So right now I have 30,000 subscribers, which would be about the same as Matthews. Where's Matthews? And how close is it to the Taco Bell? <laughs> so, all right, so I've basically been there. I'd say. We also had another comment from uh, Sean who wanted me to check out Norway. And in honor of Erling Haaland scoring five goals in Champions League, we're gonna just do that. And in Norway, we'd be bigger than Hamar, but smaller than Tromsø. And there was also Dude Libop right after who wanted me to check out Kenya. So I guess might as well do that. And in Kenya, if you go all the way down here, we actually don't make the list, I guess. <laughs> but we'd be very close to Kamulu, which is right here. I mean, of course, you already knew that. But that's it for this week's episode. I already, I already said that. <clears throat> but remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Become a member here if you want to get destroyed by me <laughs> in a 1v1. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And shout out to Gerardo Daniel Rodriguez Gonzalez and Stock.